This next sound all the play tutorial, we're going to talk about my themes. And my themes is where you take a song that you like and you create a specific design for it and then save it in the Sound All Play app and then you can also share it with people, share it with friends and we'll talk about that later. You're going to start a song to play then you're going to go over to the control panel and at this point what you're going to do is customize it to how you like, how you want it to look for that particular song. So with this song it will slow down the pattern a little bit by bringing the speed down a little bit. It's maybe filling up the, the uh, display a little too much there. We'll go up with the master on the side. Well, that was a little too much, so we'll hit the middle ground there. And then maybe we want, like, see what looks good. Of those, I like this one. And then we'll see if we want to do invert or peaks or, okay, I like this look right here. So I'm going to say, okay, I like this with this song and I want someone else that I know to take a look at it this way. So once you have the controls where you want them, you tap the themes button and you go to my themes. Once you go into the my themes area, you can see at the bottom left there's a plus sign. You press the plus sign to create a new theme. That brings you up into a menu where you name it. Now that song just ended, but we'll go ahead and name this now. So we're just gonna call this My Theme One. And we'll do, then we're done with that. Press the top left button, done. Let's go back. Now we created this for a different song, so we're gonna hit the back button here. We're gonna hit the back button on our iPod to get back to that song. So now we see what this song looks like. This is the theme we created. Now let's go back to themes and say you want to share this with someone. Well you find that themes. Now it's up here at the very top. It says my themes one. You press and hold it and at the bottom a menu comes up and you can either export it into the iTunes file menu, which we're not going to talk about right now, but that's one way you can save it. But the more easy way is to email it. So you tap email, and that immediately launches you into your email program. You type in the name of who you want it to go to, and then you send it. You can send it to yourself if you want to post it somewhere, or you can send it to a friend if they also have the app. And right here it says My Themes, and when they receive it, once they tap on that, it'll immediately launch a program that I mean, puts it right into your My Themes category. So we're going to delete that draft because we're not going to need to send that. So that gives you an idea of how you can customize a theme and how you can export it and share it.